has a reputation for hosting big games. Our state recently awarded its fourth Super Bowl coming up in 2023, but there may be more high profile events on tap. Team 12's Monica Garcia live in downtown Phoenix this morning. And Monica, what else might be coming our way? Well, I'll tell you what, we're talking one year after Arizona hosted its very first ever Final Four event. I can tell you it was crowded out here uh, back in 2017. More than 50,000 people came out to that uh, Final Four fan experience. Well, it looks like the NCAA took note and once again, officials from the NCAA are back at it again and possibly making uh, Arizona another destination for a championship basketball game. Now we're talking about the bid for either 2020 24, 25 or 26. Today, NCAA representatives will be touring hotels and proposed sites to make sure the Valley can again create an exceptional experience for the student athletes and fans. In 2017, listen to this, more than 150,000 people attended the semifinal and the championship games in Glendale. The event the second most attended in the series history. The economic impact, a lot of people like to hear about this, was uh, let's see $324 million just for our area. Nationally, 23 million viewers watched that championship game on TV. And like you said, Paul, this comes after just last week, we were awarded the Super Bowl for 2023. So later on today, downtown, there's gonna be a press conference with uh, NCAA organizers, and they're gonna release a little bit more details, maybe as to what they're looking for, uh, possibly the year that we could get awarded this championship basketball game. We will be out there. We're gonna bring you the very latest, both on air and online. From downtown, and Monica Garcia, back to you guys. Sounds like a slam dunk to me. Oh boy, here I we stole go. your pun. <laughs> no, Sorry. that was good. I You were thinking, thinking it. <laughs> All right, it's 5:34.